So this is going to be quick and sharp. We all, we're all got 15 minutes today. So thank you all for joining us. I'm going to speak today about Viewpoint for Projects and FieldView and how we're using that to transform our business to a data-driven business. So a huge thank you to the Viewpoint team for um, supporting us today. Um, and I hope I do their platforms justice in the next 15 minutes. If you'd like to know more about me in the future, look me up on LinkedIn. Um, as Phil has learned over the last couple of weeks, I've got a large following on that network. Um, and I post there on a regular basis about what's happening in construction tech um, and everything to do with BIM and construction. So look me up after the presentation for more information. So I work for Gamuda Engineering, which is one of Malaysia's largest construction businesses. I've been here for the last four years working on metro projects primarily and currently working on projects in Australia and in Singapore. So our vision for data and construction management is to make data part of the core of our business. So we want to make sure that our main C-suite senior management team are defining the specific goals for driving data in our business. We want individual project managers to rely on real-time data collected on site for informing their project reporting and dashboards. We want to move away from the old way of reporting in terms of static reports. We need to make sure that the engineers are able to define their measurable targets to improve their productivity uh, using data that's accurate, reliable, and standard and controlled, and that's the biggest challenge. Um, and we have a commitment to make sure that all of our staff are provided with data literacy skills training. So I'm going to show you how we're, we're using the viewpoint tools to accomplish some of these goals. So let's take a quick look at where we started on this journey. Our first leaping off point um, into a common data environment for ourselves was to invest in Viewpoint for Projects. We had used client systems for many projects. So we'd used things like Aconex and ProjectWise, but we actually invested into Viewpoint for Projects for our own purposes. And um, Viewpoint is a very powerful tool. It contains a folder-based system, so it's easy to control and, and organize your information. It's got substantial uh, capabilities around searching. Um, and the big, if, the big benefit here is metadata and using metadata. So Viewpoint for Projects, if you've not seen it before, is a very powerful EDMS um, and information management system. It's got a whole bunch of different features, but I just want to show you one example from one of our projects. On one project alone, we're managing 20,000, that is right, 20,000 shop drawings for mechanical, electrical, and builder's work drawings. Um, and we're not just uploading documents into folders. We're using very sophisticated workflows. So we're doing an, a digital paperless review. So each one of these boxes re represents a task or a trigger or an activity. Um, this is complicated, but it actually simplifies our document control process because it automates a lot of the workflows between different parties. So it moves the information around in a controlled manner. Um, and this gives a lot of access to the information at the right time. So once things are approved, they become available to the people that need them. And it gives a good audit trail of what's happening. So building these workflows in Viewpoint for Projects has saved us a substantial amount of time um, and a lot of headaches on our major construction projects. So if you're not familiar with these tools, these are very powerful in terms of building automated systems. Another feature of the platform is you can actually do all your markups um, digitally. So we're, we're, we're basically combining a number of traditional tools into one platform. So we can have comments that can be associated to individuals. We can have actions for people to close out and we can actually integrate these into workflows. Um, and the system also allows us to put stamps on drawings automatically. So we can actually track dates received. We can, we can manage the drawings that way. So all very useful functionality on the platform. Um, and the biggest function that we all see is keeping track of the status and the versions of documents. So using the filters, using the search functions, you can actually check for a particular site, for a particular discipline, what the status is for submissions and the version controls. And we also use it, uh, you won't, won't be able to read the, the numbers in these sheets, but we also use it for reporting. So we're actually tracking and monitoring all the subcontractor shop drawing submissions using the data that's coming from Viewpoint for Projects. Um, and last but certainly not least, Viewpoint for Projects also has some really good BIM capabilities and BIM tools. So this is just a quick snapshot of the model viewer on Viewpoint for Projects. Uh, so it enables us to actually link the drawing information and the model information together on one platform. So Viewpoint for Projects is our common data environment of choice for our projects. Um, and Viewpoint company also provide a platform called Field View. Um, and Field View basically has been a game changer for Gamut Engineering. It is now being used on every single one of our projects from um, metro projects all the way down to small residential projects, commercial projects, et cetera, et cetera. So field view is a substantial game changer for any construction business. All of the teams on site have got access to the digital forms. So there's no paper being pushed around. They're all using digital devices. And um, we're using it for the subcons, the consultants, the REs, the suppliers, and even the clients. This gives us the ability to create quality control and in record defect procedures. Um, 
the system has the ability to capture photos with the location data so we can actually identify where things are happening. Um, it's all based on mobile and cloud. Um, it's fast, it's reliable, and it's very secure. So it's a very, very good system for managing construction information. Just a couple of simple examples to show you what we're doing with that platform. So essentially, if you have a paper form on your construction site today, you can digitize it using FieldView. Um, FieldView is totally set up for um, building your own templates, building your own workflows. So you can convert any workflow or any work permit, reports, inspections, anything that was paper in the past can be made into a digital form. As I mentioned already, we can also capture location-based photographs. So all the photographs that are actually captured, they're tagged with a specific location so that we know exactly where the photograph was taken, which can be very, very useful looking back. Um, and FieldView comes with a dashboard. So FieldView, you can use its own interface. You can identify how many um, forms have been raised, how many are in progress, how many have been closed. Um, and you can see here on this dashboard in the bottom left, left corner, we are raising typically over 270 forms per week. Um, and we're getting through them at a rate of knots. Um, this image was taken in March 2020, and all the different colors on the right just indicate the different types of forms that are being, being produced. Now, one of the limitations that we discovered with FieldView is that it gives you straightforward information, but it doesn't enable you to do any analytics or any um, data analytics. So once we got our head around how to set up and use Viewpoint for Projects and FieldView, we then started an exercise of actually how do we get even more benefit from the data. So we started looking at tools to integrate the two platforms together and add a layer of business analytics on top of that. So we've been working with a company from the UK called Semper Analytics. Um, Semper have a very good relationship with the team at Viewpoint and they've helped us build a workflow where we're collecting data on site using FieldView the data is then pulled using the API onto Azure, where using Azure, we can then use IBM Cognos to run analytics and create dashboards and reporting and do other analytics on top of that. So building these workflows has required a whole set of new skills that are unusual to a contractor. So we obviously have to have software and programming skills. We need to have subject matter expertise in data management and in database management and in analytics. Um, and we need people who can do data visualization. And not certainly but not least we need to have a good team to understand web service and security skills all of the information we're collecting is going out to secure web-based services um, and it's very important that it's maintained as secure now the difference here is that we can then start to run some very clever dashboards and the challenge that we've come across and this goes back to our education and training part is understanding what the question is to be able to build out the right reports and build out the right dashboards. So the data is there, it's how you present the data and how you actually analyze the data that's crucial. So being able to ans ask the right question to get the answers you need is crucial. So this little dashboard here is basically a sa safety incident analysis and reporting dashboard. Um, and I'm just showing this up really quickly. The green is obviously nothing to worry about. Um, and the dark red color in the middle of the screen is one station, each column is a station or a, a construction site. Um, and in this case, there's a, a traffic management issue. Typically, it would be very difficult for the safety managers to identify one particular issue out of a big mesh of and tests and reports. But this dashboard very, very quickly highlights where there's a, a hotspot that needs to be dealt with. Um, so now what we've done is we figured out we've got these tools. Now we're starting to figure out how we can actually drive productivity on site using these tools. So now we're looking at using data-driven real-time reporting and what we're doing is we're setting up a capable team for a particular project. So we have digital planners, digital commercial manager, capable site engineers, and a project director who's tasked with setting up the operating procedures for the data-driven reporting. So we're setting up a couple of project sites to run this to understand how we can drive it. The project teams are defining their own timelines and cost items, KPIs for the daily reporting, and they're generating their reports on dashboards. And um, the senior project managers are demanding daily reports based on site data rather than traditional Excel spreadsheets and Word. Um, and we're learning how to develop these reporting tools, test them and prove them to your use. So we're still at the beginning of this journey. We have by no means cracked it. But with the, un, with the setup of Viewpoint for Projects and FieldView, we have a really good chance at this. So this fully digital project is BIM-based. So all the information is coming from the project information platform, which in this case is Viewpoint for Projects. So a very quick overview of this workflow. So we have construction information in a work breakdown structure. We have accurate, coordinated, buildable models in, in, in a BIM system. We link those together and then using field view, we build out all of our site tasks as we manage on site. We then set up the dashboards to set up our real-time reporting. 
And then we set that up in a data analytics system to start understanding where we can gain productivity. We're at the beginning of this journey. Unfortunately, I don't have anything great to show you as a result, but this is where we're planning to take these platforms. So we're planning on using the viewpoint for projects to hold all the data, and we're using field view to collect the data on site. And this is just a simple example of one of the reports that have been, can, we've come up with so far. So this basically shows you information about which activities have not yet started, which of them are exempt in terms of white, which of them are work in progress, and you can tell by a different color grade how much work's been complete. So we're using these visual tools to understand what's happening on our construction projects. So the one thing we know for sure is people are not going to figure this out by themselves. So we're making a big commitment that learning data is a second language. So we're educating all of our staff on the importance of data. And everyone needs to know about the data collection, analysis, and reporting systems. And the staff are sharing their expertise between themselves and across the business to improve everyone's knowledge. Um, and we're making data analytics a primary skill set that needs to be mastered for some people. So the way we're doing this, we've basically set up across three levels. Senior staff need to be aware of what's going on, um, and they need to be requ requesting and driving live dashboards rather than traditional reporting. So they need to change their way of doing things. Our project managers and engineers are being taught how to use data for coordination, and they're attending courses to help training on the planning of resources and deliverables and procedures. And last but not least, our technical staff, who are the guys doing all the work at the front coalface, they're being trained in specific software skills around data analytics, reporting, um, and they're basically being taught how to build and use the data tools. Why am I going so fast? Naveed, I'm going so fast because I had to cram all this into 15 minutes, but that's me done with one minute to spare. So I, I, if I spoke too fast, um, you'll have to play it back on YouTube at half speed, but um, that's my presentation for this evening. Um, Thank you all very much for your time and I will hand it back to Phil.